Okay, so what I'll try to do here is set up a spreadsheet where you can load in code to run financial valuations. In this instance here we're fortunate because the developer tab comes up and that normally means then we can get straight into uh, writing code. But um, normally that's not there as a default. And uh, for instance if we went to options customize ribbon you might note that if I unclick the developer tab then it disappears from the menu and to retrieve it we just go to options customize ribbon developer tab click OK and it's back now the developer tab if we click on it and then click again on Visual Basic Right, we can see that um, we get into a new uh, window and we would like to be able to write code here. Uh, normally a grey screen comes up so to get a prompt where we can enter in code go to insert and then go to module. And uh, now we have a prompt where code can go in. For our purposes it's sufficient to take the code maybe from the net and one reliable source that I like a lot is curryback.net if we click on his book here um, he has a spreadsheet available and we'll just download the spreadsheet and in the spreadsheet is actually a code that we can run for uh, valuation so click on his spreadsheet and ok nothing is available here for a second and we will enable editing ok and once we've enabled, en enabled the editing go back into the developer tab visual basic and uh, his spreadsheet becomes available in the project view. So his workbook is second course. We'll come down to the modules. We'll click chapter three. Is the chapter three module is where we have a function for Black Shoals. Okay, so we will copy that, copy, and then we'll go back into our workbook book one, come down to the module, uh, double click on the module and you notice that the prompt, the visual basic editor is empty but we'll just paste in code. We take that function and we can go into the spreadsheet. So we take the function and we'll go into the other spreadsheet, to book one and we can put that anywhere so we might put it down here but no particular reason why it's in that cell and click paste and then we go back to curry back excel spread excel uh, workbook look for the black shoulder worksheet with chapter 3 conveniently there to parameter inputs Okay, there's no formulas here, just parameter inputs. And we go back into our own workbook and we'll paste those in again in a kind of arbitrary fashion. Okay, now what we want to do is run evaluation using Black Shoals for a call. And we'll use the parameter inputs as suggested by Curry Back. So we'll hit equals and the cell becomes live and we then should take each of the parameter inputs uh, S here is 50 K is the exercise, exercise 40 R is the risk free rate, 5% Sigma is equal to volatility so that's 0 0.3 which is the volatility to return on the stock or on the underlying asset. Dividend yield is 
2% and the time period is 2 and if we hit return we get evaluation of the option okay so um, uh, we'll develop that into another spreadsheet uh, where we can make comparisons in a moment